Welcome back. For this chapter, we are going to create our last material before I set you a couple of challenges. And that's going to be a new material for the wall that's going to do some stuff. You'll see. You'll see. Okay, so let's go into our content drawer. We're going to go into our materials folder and create one more new material. So right click material. I'm going to call this M underscore. What should I call it? I'm going to call it grubby wall. Okay, it's going to be quite grubby. So that's a good name. Let's open that up. And then we're going to make some changes. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to get more control over the color. So at the moment, we've only plugged constants into base color, but we can do more than that. So what I'm going to type in this time is a constant three vector, this guy here. Three vectors means that you can have three inputs, X, Y, and Z, and they actually correspond to red, green, and blue. And obviously by mixing different proportions of red, green, and blue will give you any color you want. So by default, it's 0, 0, 0, which is black. I'm just going to plug the result of that in. So I'm getting this white one here, which is all three of those colors combined, which is what will give us color. And then you can choose whatever color you want down here. So we're going to click on this black box. This is the color picker. And I want essentially a mid gray. And I'm just going to give it a slight blue hue. Something like that. That's quite nice. I don't want it to be too blue. Now you at this stage can choose whatever color you want. You can go nuts, but I want to keep mine subtle because it's just more professional. So that's what the old color was. That's what the new one's going to be. Click on OK. And you can see we've got this kind of nice, cool blue. The next thing I want to do that's going to make this wall look a little bit grubbier is we're going to do something with the roughness. And instead of just setting it to a uniform value, we're going to use a texture to drive this. So I'm going to add another texture sample. And instead of right clicking and typing it, I'm just going to hold T on my keyboard and left click. And that will just add a texture sample. And if we go into texture over here, we're going to choose one that's called Perlin Noise. And it's just a noisy texture that's included in the start content that can be very useful. And we're going to plug that into the roughness. And you should see now in the highlight on the shape here that it now has kind of this patchy roughness to it, which makes it look a bit grubbier, which is the effect that we're going for. So that's what that does. I think I'm going to just change my preview to the cube and get a better idea of how the light is sitting. So I'm just going to keep that view there because the light is sitting, it's doing its thing. And what I want to do overall is the bits that aren't rough are a little bit too shiny, a little bit too reflective. So what we're going to do is make this brighter by adding to it. So this represents values that any black on this would be zero, any white would be one. So what we're going to do is just increase this a little bit by doing an add. So I'm right click, add like that. And we're going to add 0 0.2. We're essentially going to make it 20% rougher. So that's going to go into A. And the result's going to go into roughness. And then there's 0 0.2 for our 20%. And when this updates, you will see it still has that variation in the roughness, but the bits that are less rough are still more rough than they were before, which is what we're going for. The next thing I want to do, I'm just going to bring these two down a little bit, is I want this to repeat a little bit more. And to do that, we can tile the texture using something called a texture coordinate node. So I'm going to right click and type texture co -co coordinate. There it is. And that just goes into UVs. By default, the U tiling and the V tiling are set to one. So it's not doing any more tiling. It's just staying as it is. And I actually want this to tile slightly less actually than more. So we're going to set this to 0 0.08 on both the U and V, 0 0.08. And then when this updates, you see that now it's just more subtle again. It just looks pretty cool. And that will do it for this material. So what I'm now going to do is save that material so it's called grubby wall that's good to know i'm going to go back into my level here and anything that's got this stuff going on let me just zoom in and select a wall got to get in nice and close because my smoke's in the way so i'm going to get this one here and you can see it's this asset platform that i want to replace so what i'm going to do is go to my static mesh by double clicking on it i don't want to change the materials here because it won't change it for all the wall pieces so i'm going to double click on it here 
And when I've got asset platform, I'm going to change it to grubby wall. You can see I now get a little bit more variation between two shades of blue as well, which is the look that I want for this. So we'll save that. Let's go back and find another type of wall. So again, I need to get in nice and close. So that one there is pretty good. Now, I might not do this one because I haven't UV'd it properly. Uh, but we'll see how it looks. So we'll double click on here to open the back wall. I'm going to change that to grubby wall. Now let's see how that looks. I think that's okay. I can't see any of it. Oh, there is a bit of tiling. I'll show you where it is. And this is just because when I modeled this, I didn't do a very good job. I'm sorry. Um, let's get the light to it. This line here is tiling because I just I didn't re-UV map it when I, when I mirrored this. It's fine. We're going to leave it. I think it looks okay. So we'll save that. What else have we got? This piece over here. So let's get in nice and close to this. And we'll open that up. I'm going to change that for grubby wall. And save. I think I might have got them all. Are there any others? If there are any others that have that one, I would like you to swap them. Um, I think I think that'll do it now. So let's just press play. And we'll have a little walk around. And you're just kind of looking for how now the the light catches these these walls differently. You see on that wall there, it's catching it differently. On this wall here, it's definitely catching it differently. It just makes things look better. More AAA, which is what we're going for. So that's our most complex uh, material so far. So let's just open our content drawer, save all, just to make sure everything's saved. Our level isn't saved, so we'll do that. Okay, and that's kind of all the lessons that we have for this chapter. In the next video, I'll be giving you your next challenge. So if you are feeling up to it, I will see you there for that. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.